So have you ever wondered if your paging file size on Windows 11 or Windows 10 is set on the right way? As the wrong setting can kill your performance while the right one can boost it instantly. So today in this video, I will show you the perfect paging file size for 2GB, 4, 8 and even 16GB of RAM users. So make sure that you do not skip any part. Please watch the video till the end as this setting is going to be very important for you. So now in order to bring up these settings, what you can do, click on Windows search, type sysdm.cpl, very simple command, sysdm.cpl, hit the enter key. This will bring up the system properties and here from the top you will have to click on advanced. Under the performance, you will have to click on settings. Again, you have to click on advanced from the top menu option. And here below you find the virtual memory option and it says a paging file is an area on the hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM. So what exactly it does? This feature uses some part of your hard drive or SSD and utilize it as a RAM. And when exactly this is beneficial, whenever you have noticed that your RAM usage is going above 90%, at that period of time, when you have the high RAM or memory usage problem, this feature is very beneficial for you. Now, I also believe that many of you might have used this feature before. It's a very uh, old feature, a very common feature. But today in this video, I'm going to discuss the right way to use it. As I said in the beginning, that if you use it in a wrong way, you can mess your computer. But using on the right way can really boost your performance. Now, what you have to do, you need to click on change and then you'll find few different options. Like by default, it will be selected to automatically manage paging file size for all drive. Then you see the custom size and then you see no paging file. Now, I won't recommend anyone to go with this option that says no paging file. So you will have to choose between automatically and the custom. So who will be using this automatically option? Now, the user who have a huge RAM like 16 or above like 24, 32 gigabyte of RAM or more than that, for those people, I would recommend you that kindly go with the automatically option. Even if you are using 16 gigabyte of RAM and your memory consumption is below 70 or around 70, like 50 or 60 for 16 gigabyte of RAM, then I would say kindly keep this selected to automatically only. And what will happen that Microsoft will automatically manage this and will decide that when exactly they have to provide you the paging file according to your RAM. But you might have seen many videos, people are discussing that you should set it to custom size instead of automatically and that's true. But this is mostly for the user who have 2 GB of RAM, 4, 8 or even 16 as I said. If your memory usage is going beyond 70 or 80%, then you can go and choose the custom size option. But now the big challenge is, what exactly initial size and maximum size you should keep while setting up the custom size? Now, if you go somewhere and look in the website and even many YouTubers will recommend you that according to the Microsoft, the initial size should be 1.5 times of your physical memory in MB and the maximum size should be at least three times of your physical memory in MB. But that doesn't really make sense to me. And how will you get to know that whether this setting will be working for you or not? So today I will be showing you that how exactly you have to set it and how you will get to know that this setting will be now working for you. So what we can do, we can bring up the calculator. And first you need to find out that what kind of physical memory you have. So what you can do, right click on the taskbar, click on task manager. Go to the performance section, click on memory. Then on the right of it, you will find your memory over here. So I have 16 gigabyte of RAM. On your end, it can be 8, 4 or 2 gigabyte, whatever it is. Just type the number here and multiply by 1024 so that you can get the value in MB. Now, once you have the value of your RAM in MB, for the initial size that I would recommend you, keep the same amount. So I will type 16384. And for the maximum size, what I would recommend you, first try by multiplying by 2. So what I can do, I will multiply this number by 2. Then I will enter here. 32768. Then you can click on set and your C drive paging file will be displayed over here. Now, what exactly you have to notice in order to find out whether the setting will be working for you or not? If you click on OK 
or if you get this kind of message that say the changes you have made require you to restart your computer before they can take effect if you see this message then only you have to assure yourself that the settings you have applied is properly made but if you don't find this message after clicking on ok it means the number that you have entered will not be working for you all right so i can see this message on my end so it means the settings the number that i have entered is absolutely perfect for me but in case if i don't see this message then what you will have to do again you have to click on change and instead of multiplying this maximum size by 2 you have to multiply by 1.5 so overall you will have to get that message that says in order to apply these settings you will have to restart your computer if you get that by multiplying the total number of your ram by two in the maximum size then you are good to go but if you don't find that message then again you have to come to the same page and instead of multiplying this by two you can multiply this by 1.5 and enter the same value over here in the maximum size then you can click on set and then when you will click on OK, you will be surely getting that message. So keep in mind, in the initial size, you have to keep the amount in MB, whatever your physical memory is, you don't have to multiply by anything. And for the maximum size, either you can multiply by 2 or with 1.5, depending that what work for you and when you get that message. So on my end, you can see after multiplying this number with 2, I got that message. So I'm OK now. So I will click on apply, click on OK, then I will go ahead and restart the computer. And now I have properly set the paging file system on my Windows 11. And you can also do in the same way. So that's all guys for today. And hopefully now your doubt should be cleared and you have understood properly that how exactly you have to set the paging file size on your Windows 11 or Windows 10. If you still have any kind of doubt, let me know in the comment section and I see you in the next video. Bye bye.